the Lord is good all the time. We want to praise the Lord once again for this opportunity that he has given us to come to his presence. And we believe that we are going to be blessed this morning as we uh, study together. Acts, Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12, from verse 1, the Bible says, And now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church, verse 2, and killed James the brother of John with the sword. Because he saw this pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also, then this, then they, then were the days of unleavened bread. Now, Herod began to persecute the church, the early church. He killed James, the brother of John. When he killed the James, the brother of John, he saw that it pleased the Jews. Let me tell you. This is the time that we are facing. A time when Christians will kill other Christians and they will think that they are doing God's service. That time is coming. Actually, it is uh, John chapter 16 verse 2 which says so. John chapter 16 verse 2. And uh, this repetition is going to happen. Verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues, yea. The time cometh that whatsoever killeth you will think that he that he doeth the God service. A time is coming when Christians will kill other Christians and they will think that they are doing God service. Sunday law is coming when Christians will kill other Christians and they'll think that they are doing God service. And they will do it through the government. That is why. When Herod saw that. It has pleased James to be killed. It has pleased the Jews for James to be killed. He proceeded further also to bring Peter into prison. So that he may also be killed. Let's go back to Acts chapter 12. As we move on now. Verse 4, let me read the other version which puts it in the, what I, in the language that I like to use in NIV. After arresting him, he put him into prison, he put him into prison, handing him over to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. How many soldiers are those? Four squads of four soldiers each. How many soldiers are those? Sixteen. This was a maximum prisoner. One person who is taken care of 16 soldiers. Now, I want us to get out of the physical realm and come to the spiritual realm. Many Christians come to church, but there are demonic forces that are taking care of us, are guarding us, have put us into prison. 16 soldiers taking care of Peter. Now, there are demons of music. You get hip hop, rock, blues, reggae, and all that. And by the when we listen to such music, it is very hard for you to read the Bible and understand what you are reading. I have been in a music choir. And Pastor Mtamba was the one who was teaching us. When we used to go to recorder, 
before we record any song, we could pray, let these songs touch the listeners. When this world the people are going to record, there are things that they do behind the studio. That when you listen to their music, it will create a distaste for reading the word. Because the demons, the devil is involved. Others, demons of movies, they are singing so well. But when they get out of the church, they are going for a series of movies. Others is pornography. We are slaves. I can go on and on. Fashion others. They are keeping us. Irregardless of the immodest, they have to wear it. So here, we see him being handed to, to be guarded by four, squad, four squads of four soldiers each. And the Bible says in verse 5, one of the favorite verse in, my, in the Bible. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying for Peter. There are very many people who are in prison. Our parents are in prison of drunkenness. The church has, or you, have to constantly pray for your fathers without ceasing. Our parents are not in good terms. In fact, this generation as we talk, when we look at our parents, perhaps who got married in the year 2000, and they have now students, children who are in the university, There are divorces, there are separation, there is no peace. The, our only remedy is to pray for our parents without doing what? Seizing. How many students are in SDA? Let's say, for example, 700. And you will find perhaps. Elders have to divide those names. Divide the names, begin to pray for these names every day. You wake up early in the morning to pray for, maybe if you are seven, you divide seven, hundred, hundred, and you pray for 50 in the morning, or you decide to pray for 50 in the morning, 30 in the, in the afternoon, 20 in the evening, you are finished. Every day, and you'll see the church coming up. Prayer has a long hand. Somebody may refuse. Somebody can resist us talking to them. But nobody can, can resist the influence of prayer in their lives as we pray for them. So he was kept in prison, but the church earnestly prayed for him. Listen as the Bible says, as, as we go on, uh, the Bible says in verse 6, the night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains. The sentries stood guard at the entrance. Now, after being handed over to 16 soldiers to take care of him, because there was what we call Christian break jail. Paulo na sila wali omba milango ya gereza ikafunguka. And so because he was aware of that, he put him to be guarded by 16 soldiers. And not only that, this hand was tied with a chain to a soldier and this hand was tied to another soldier and he slept between two soldiers he could hardly move without 
calling the attention of the of those soldiers let me tell you this there are people who are slaves slaves one day i went to a certain university to preach an elder there came and told me i've been masturbating from second i mean form 2 and he was a fourth year and he told me that he was so addicted that it affected his rectum he could not sit in a lecture hall for 20 minutes before he goes out to walk and exercise then he comes back to sit He, was, he went to the hospital and he was scheduled for an operation to correct the rectum. I don't know whether I'll get even time to teach about what we are doing to ourselves. And he went, was put in a ward in the evening that in the morning go for an operation. The doctors came in the morning and told, get out because your case is small. We have bigger cases twice he cried like a child i led him into confession we confessed we prayed together and uh, i don't know what happened but on sunday when i was leaving he stood up and said you know the problem i've been having i've been scheduled twice for an operation but he did not tell the members what made him he said after the prayers we met together god worked a miracle that now he could sit in a lecture hall even for two hours without going out a lady told me nimrod i have been hooked with masturbation and these things are coming because of pornography i've been hooked by masturbation i don't know what to do after I've done it, I feel so empty. I don't know what to do. We began to pray together over the phone. We do devotions and pray over the phone. And these are people who have been chained by the devil on the other side. Chained by the devil on the other side. And they can hardly move. And by the way, most of the people who are practicing masturbation... It even affects their academic. You'll hear them telling you, my academics are going down. She forgot to pray for two days because I have very many things that I'm doing. And that time, she called me two days ago and told me, a time there is an urge that came into my mind so strongly. I tried to distract myself. I could not. I rushed to my room and did it again. My brothers and sisters, people are changed. People are in, uh, in, the, in the chains of the devil and they need to be delivered. And the worst of all, the things that we are doing now, we are taking direct them to the marriage. I talked to a married person, a married man, who told me he needs to be delivered from masturbation. I asked him, are you living with your wife? Yes, we are with my wife every day. When did this begin? When I was in form 3. She, he can sleep with the wife. He is not satisfied. He goes back to do masturbation in the bathroom. And because I know the family very well, he told me, don't say this anywhere. Of course I will say it, but I will not mention the name. A lady told me, a married lady, after my husband has done it, I go and use a carrot or a cucumber. I have to fake that I have reached orgasm so that my, wife, my husband may not discover Everything we are doing now, while we are single, it will be produced. It will be perfectly reproduced in marriage.
And that is why the church needs to pray consistently. Let's go. Okay, before we, 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 we move on. Ask yourself, are you in prison? What is hooking you? That is why we have come this morning here to pray. To encourage one another to pray. So that even after this stewardship week of prayer. That we may continue to pray until the Lord helps us to overcome what we are going through. We could be singing. We could be active in church. But slaves to sin. So this morning... In our first session, each and every person is going to pray individually. We understand. We understand what we are slaves to. What is hooking you? What are you hooked to? I was in Kenyatta University. We were staying somewhere in a compound and there was football that was going on. The owner had said, by 10, I am locking the gate. So the owner locked the gate and students could pass through, through a wall. When we were getting out at that time, maybe to go for a short call, a lady, wanashikana, wanasimama, mschana, anakanyaga mabega anaenda juu anakanyaga kule juu anaruka kwenda chini because of football let me tell you this is it in the same Kenyatta university when i preached this a footballer who was in gormaya told me that he left football because gormaya there is a place called Gor. Gormaya was a person. And that hill they could go there. And they do some sacrifices. Wakikuja kwa field. Wanapakwa mafuta ya ngurue. They do something the first 30 minutes. It is not you who is playing. And there are some rituals also the footballers do. These things that you see that people are doing until it's demonic. Ask yourself. I was preaching in Mount Kenya University and it was World Cup was going on. That day we did not have, half of the congregation did not come to church. Let me ask you. When you leave church to go and watch football. Is there need for you for waiting for Sunday law? Muna fundishuango prophecy. Is there need for you for waiting for Sunday law? You are ready on Sunday. Sunday law is for the overcomers. The only thing that Sunday law is going to do for the Christians is to be killed. Death decree. You go to meet your boyfriend on Sabbath. You don't even come for Sabbath afternoon. No need of waiting for Sunday law. No, unless we change. This morning. I want us to pray individually. First of all, thank God for the messages that we are hearing. That are bringing a revival and reformation. Number two, pray for the forgiveness of our sins. What is hooking you in life? Is it movies, pornography, football? Is it what? Is it fashion? What is disturbing you? How many of us know that the way I dress is wrongly? Some of us, the way we dress. If somebody calls us that our parents have come, you'll not go to meet your parents first of all. You'll go to the room to change. And then you'll come to meet your parents. You know it is wrong. And you are doing it. Because you want to please the crowd. 
tell God, help me to change my wardrobe. What is it? Talk to God. Then another thing, as we pray, pray against satanic and demonic forces in the mighty name of who? Jesus Christ. That name is powerful. Call upon King Jesus and tell him, deliver me from the chains of the devil. Then as you pray, pray for me. As you pray for me that the Lord may give me words during this week. Also pray for the leadership of the church. You have your chaplain, Pastor Mtamba. You have your elders who are guiding us. These elders are sacrificing. They are students like you. Some of them will even miss classes to see visitations and other things are going on. Pray for them. Nothing moves without leadership. Pray for your leaders. Then as we pray for that one, pray that, let's pray for the church and for the, election, the elections of the church that will take place this year and the elections of Kenya that will take this year. This is very crucial. Then let's pray for the Holy Spirit. As we pray for the Holy Spirit, now tell God what you want God to do for you. I want my father who is a drunkard to get out of the prison of drunkenness. My brother, my sisters, or whatever that you are praying, mention it before the Lord. The Lord is passing around to bless us. Amen? Mention it. Tell God, this thing is disturbing me. This thing is going to destroy me. I am praying that you may help me to come out of this thing. When the Son of Man sets you free, you'll be what? Free indeed. Tell God, help me to be free what? Indeed. If you have a bad company, tell God, help me to break out of this bad company. Pass me not, O gentle Savior, in my humble cry. That's a prayer. Why, Lord, does thou go? Do me pray before we disperse father in the name of Jesus we've just sung that when you pass around by do not pass us by dear Lord it is not by accident that we have woken up to come here some people are sleeping but we have denied ourselves sleep because we want to overcome our sinful nature we pray that, dear loving Lord, as each and every person speaks to you individually, do not pass us by, dear Lord. Your hand is not too short to save, nor your ears too deaf to hear. We plead, we cry. Do not leave us in our slavery of sin. Set us free so that we may be free indeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, break the chains of the devil that are linking us to demonic activities. Abide with us and fill us with the Holy Spirit, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So individually, if you want to kneel down, just kneel down. If you want to sit the way you are sitting, sit down. Take any position. Talk to God. 
If you feel that the thing is heavy, you need to go even aside there, just go talk to God. and then we pray Master who liveth above in heaven, to thy throne of mercy once more we approach this particular morning. We thank you for waking us up and meet at this particular time to feed from your feet, dear Jesus. You have said from your man servant that, dear Lord, we have been chained from different dimensions, dear Lord. As you rescued Mary McCadlin from prostitution, dear Lord, May you rescue us, dear Lord. As you rescued Saul from persecuting Christians, dear Lord, may you rescue us this particular morning and create in us a new heart to be the light unto this world, dear Lord. We have been pinned by different names by our friends, but this particular morning, dear Lord, may you baptize us with the, with the spirit, dear Lord. You send your man servant, and he said, I will go. Here he is, dear Lord, that he's sending the messages that you send him to come and deliver to your children, dear Lord. May you make him, dear Lord, deliver the message in a simplest form that we may receive it and understand it and do it according to thy will, dear Lord. May you make him speak the truth, whether we like it or not, for the redemption and restoration of our life. This is my humble request, that, dear Lord, that you have answered our request. This is my prayer by faith. We pray and believe. Thank you very much. Let's go to the same chapter as we, time is chasing us. Acts chapter 12, now we are in verse 7. Okay, we begin verse 5. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying for him. Verse 7, suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said. And the chains fell off Peter's wrist. As 
the church members who are praying earnestly without ceasing. Luke, 1, Luke chapter 18 verse 1 says that pray, men ought to pray and not do what? And not faint. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 says that pray without doing what? Ceasing. As the church was praying without ceasing, God responded by sending an angel who came into prison to help Peter out of prison. Now, let me tell you, when we pray, when we pray, God does not need visiting hours to pray to go and visit the sick in the hospital. When you go to the hospital, you need to go there visiting hours. God does not observe that. When you pray for those who are in prison, God does not visit them in visiting hours. He goes there anytime. If you are praying for our brothers and sisters who are outside the country, God does not need a passport. God is everywhere. Amen. He responds. And he comes to prison. When he came to prison, there was light. Let me tell you, the entrance of the word of God in our hearts bring light into our lives. Thy word is what? A lamb unto what? And a light unto? That is why by all means tell God give me the spirit of reading the word of God. It is Psalms 119 verse 11 that I have hid the word of God in my heart so that I may not sin against him. The word of God is powerful. It is not football. It is not uh, whatever that you are watching. The word of God is so powerful. And so the angel came into prison and found everybody asleep. Let me tell you, if God wants to save you, in fact, God wants to save us. If we allow God to save us, he will use any means to save us. The church earnestly praying and God sent an angel. Where are people who can pray until God sends angels to come and deliver us from our what? Our chains. The angel came and struck Peter on the side. Wake up. And the chains fell Peter's wrist. Let me tell you this. Sometimes we normally sing, Oh my Savior, touch me. My Savior, touch me. Oh, let me tell you. If Jesus gives you a touch, things will change in your life. Even as we pray, just tell Jesus, give me a touch. Help me to stretch and touch your hem of the cloth. While somebody was bleeding for 12 years, you have been in pornography for the last 10 years. And the way we are having free Wi-Fi around, we can go to every site we want, but at the end of the day, our hearts are empty. Let me tell you this. Told him, quick, get up. Listen to the next verse as it says in verse 8. Then the angel said to him, put your clothes and sandal. And Peter did so. This is where I want to explain something. What God can do, man cannot do it. What man can do, God will not do it on his behalf, will be lazy. There is no way Peter will have gotten himself out of the chains and God touched him. And that is why we have to pray. Dear Lord, I have tried. I have tried. But I find myself in. And I'm praying that Lord, deliver me. I can do anything through Christ who does what? Strengthens me. So for the chains, Jesus, the angel, touched him. The chains removed. And he told him, 
get up. Do you know God tells us get up and we say, God, I can't. I'm tired. But he got up. And he told him, put on your sandals, your clothes. And he did it. The angel could have still commanded the sandals to come into the legs of, of Peter. But he did not do that. And that is why sometimes... I look at members of the church who tell us that you don't need to do anything. Sit. Christ did everything. Let me tell you, one of my favorite preachers who is dead now, C.D. Brooks says that if you want to make it to hell, you only need to sit down in church and do nothing. You'll burst the gates of hell wider. It needs man's cooperation, God's cooperation for us to be saved. And the Bible says here in verse 9, okay, verse 8, as we finish, wrap your cloak around you and follow me. And the angel told him, you have to follow the instructions, whatever that you are hearing in verse 9. Peter followed him out of prison. But he had no idea that what the angel was doing, but and he, he did not know what he was doing. He thought that he was seeing a vision. They passed the first, that is verse 10, they passed the first and the second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself and they went through it when they had walked the length of the st one street. Suddenly, the angel left him. Listen. When we do things with Jesus Christ, they become easy. We are told that the commentator said that gate leading to the city, even you could find 20, 30 soldiers holding it and opening it. But the angel did not even speak to the gate. It just so them and it opened by itself. That is why we need divine power to overcome the weaknesses that are in our lives. Amen? So this morning I want to remind you we need Jesus Christ Peter will have not gotten out of the chains. Psalms 107 verse 14. Psalms 107 verse 14. He brought them out of darkness and the deepest gloom and broke away their chains. Tell God, put your finger at that verse and tell God, bring me out of this darkness and the deepest gloom that is making me feel empty break away my chains you know your chains Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6 faster faster I want to give you three more verses before we finish Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6 this is what the Bible says is it not this is is it not this kind of fasting I have chosen to lose the chains of injustice and tie the cords of the yoke to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Tell God, lose my chains, cut them, and blah blah blah. Tell God like that. Turn the scriptures into prayer. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 7. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 10. 7. To open the eyes that are blind. To free the captives from prison. And to release them from the dungeons. Those who sit in darkness. Tell God. Perhaps you are not suffering from what I have been saying, but you are seeing your friends that are going through that. Pray for them. At this time, we are not going to disperse 2 2. Yesterday, we dispersed 2 2. As the Spirit leads, 
I want us to go again back and talk to God alone. What is disturbing you? I've heard some pastors say that if you pray for something, that's enough. God has heard. Don't pray about it again. In the Mount Gethsemane, in Gethsemane, Jesus came and found the disciples asleep. After praying, if it's your will, let this cup go away. The Bible says he went back with the same request. The third time, the same request. We are going back to the feet of Jesus Christ with the same request. God, deliver me from what? The dungeon. Remove me from the prison. Release me. Give me eyes to see. Tell God. I need to be free. And at this time as we go to pray. I want you to pray for five people. It could be your roommate. Your classmate. Your parents. But pray for three people. In your family. And pray for just six people. Pray for three people outside your family. And as you pray for yourself, tell God, pass me, not a gentle Savior. As you pray, pray for your academics, your health, whatever that is disturbing you. And as this week is coming to an end, may the Lord use us mightily and move us closer to him than ever before. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is more. Shallow weakness watch And when before the throne I stand in the complete, I lay my trophies down. All down are Jesus. again to disperse one one talk to God these things are serious isn't it talk to God tell God I want to lay all my trophies at the feet of Jesus I have my strength in small dear Lord save me the exercise begins you can kneel down and talk to God again Na Yesu na sa sa ni me purai kwa be ya ma uti ya kem mi mi ni mtoto ke kumbo.
sư cùng bông a lê hòa a mi mi hòa na hòa kê kê ni praise the lord and uh, even during the day when you are free keep on praying the time that you are free not only books take even 5 minutes to pray what is disturbing you before you begin to read your books because at the end of the day what shall it gain if you receive the whole world and lose your soul acts chapter 1 verse 8 before we finish acts chapter 1 verse 8 But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall you will be you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem in all Judea Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth as we are praying for the Holy Spirit let us ask the Lord to give us power to be witnesses welcome your friends today's evening service and uh, be witnesses to God May the Lord bless you abundantly. Tu pe moto au ai ulio wa kaza mani ulio wa ongoza ju waze Let's pray Father in the name of Jesus we are praying that you may forgive us our sins the request that we have brought at the feet of Jesus as we lay our trophies down there give us a breakthrough remove us from dungeons from deepest pits release us from the chains of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus and set us to be free fill us with the holy spirit to receive power to resist to resist to receive power to live a righteous life that will even attract angels to assist us to do things in an easy manner dear lord we saw peter while following the angel the door opened by itself by there are many doors that have been closed in our lives touch our parents open for them to get school fees pocket money that they may be able to fulfill our financial obligations dear lord sam there is no peace at our homes we plead and cry touch our parents some of us are praying for friends and brothers and sisters release them from the chains of the devil in the mighty name of jesus sam dear loving lord i pray for academics help us to be the head and not the tail Some are praying for life partners, some are praying for jobs, some are praying for internship open doors. Whatever that we have not mentioned others who are in hooked in addictions rebuke those satanic demonic chains and ropes that are holding us there in the mighty name of Jesus. As we disperse, disperse us with the Holy Spirit in Jesus name we pray and believe. Amen. Ah uh...